to say that Bob is genuinely probably one of the nicest people that you could meet that actually really, really sincerely cares about everybody. It was somebody you could always rely on. I mean, he is really the, to me, the epitome of what Malloy is. You've had so much fun, I guess, at leadership team meetings that Drew has not let us sit together for a very long time. Students always had a relaxed sense of approaching him. He's always had to bring a smile to everyone and that's what I like best about him. <laughs> he makes every day interesting. Bob is a great forwarder of emails. So you have to know when Bob forwards emails to you, you need to be very careful because when you answer back and say something to him and then he answers back, he thinks he's replying just to you but somehow his fingers magically go to the reply all button. Um, he's always fun to be around. Even in the most stressful situation or meeting, you can look over at Bob and can't help but smile and sometimes even laugh and maybe get a little bit of trouble for yourself because uh, you're not supposed to be laughing while you're sitting at that boardroom table. The role he played after Superstorm Sandy hit us, I believe he was very active. He took the initiative to help as many students as possible and to coordinate various activities to alleviate some of the suffering that the students and their families had gone through. I think that's the most memorable. Probably the series of my memories probably has to do with listening to Bob tell these really absolutely terrible jokes. Well, he's a great dresser. Start off with that. Um, and I love watching Drew and Bob compare ties and stuff like that. Um, but one of my favorite memories is just how good he is to everybody. Traveling with him to conferences where he always causes a scene on the plane. I've really learned a ton from him and he's been an incredible mentor. But I feel like he really never left athletics, to be honest with you. Like, you know what I mean? Like he, he does so much with athletics, you know what I mean? He, he travels with a lot of the teams, you know what I mean? He's really invested in everybody. Bob is Malloy. Bob is Malloy. He embodies what I think Malloy really stands for. I'd say he's the heart and soul of this place. Bob is the heart and soul of student affairs here at Molloy College. He, I've heard Drew refer to him as the architect of campus life here, and I couldn't agree more. I believe it's his mission to make sure that every student has an exceptional college experience. And Bob built the campus life one student at a time because Bob invites students in to be involved, looking at their interests and their abilities. He is the architect of the campus life on campus. The only thing I did was ask Bob to do it. Robert, we're going to miss you and we wish you the best. And I know that you're not gonna be retired. You'll just be away from one job and into another. Thanks for everything you've done for Malloy. Bob, I wish you all the best in health Good wishes to you and your family, and um, prosperous life, which I know that you will have, and uh, you will be missed, certainly, here at Malloy. All the students, the faculty, the administrators, the staff, all those people you've affected, multiply that by the number of years you've been here, and that's just a drop in the bucket of the lives you've affected, Bob. Well, of course, to Bob, um, I'm here when you're ready and you get bored. So I know how you are and you can only run on the beach so much. So <laughs> just know you always have a place at Malloy and uh, um, we'll talk when the time comes. Ruining my voice here.